हरे कृष्णा प्रोटेक्ट द फेंसेस दैट प्रोटेक्ट यू कीप टेम्पटेशन एट अ सेफ डिस्टेंस सपोज वी लिव इन अ नेबरहुड वेयर देर आर इधर प्रिडेटर्स कमिंग इन और इवन थीव ब्रेकिंग इन देन इफ यू हैव फेंसेस देन वी कैन अवॉइड अ लॉट ऑफ न्यूसेंस एंड डेंजर इवन इफ यू आर स्ट्रॉन्ग इनफ to deal with the predators if they come in but still it's not so easy to always be available and vigilant all the time so fences serve a purpose of keeping a safe distance between those who will disrupt our life in various ways now that same principle can be applied for our consciousness also there are in scripture certain fences given which protect us from unnecessary temptations and what are these fences basically they are scriptural guidelines about how we need to keep tempting sense objects at a safe distance so for example with respect to the most universal and foundational temptation in the world that is the male female attraction then there are certain codes by which a certain distance is maintained now what precise that this precisely that distance is can vary according to culture and context but some amount of distance is appropriate to protect from anything inappropriate happening in unintentionally also same way for any other temptation say somebody is a has been an alcoholic and they are recovering now they might want to keep a long distance from any occasion where people are drinking at least from getting a drink in their own hands so for all of us we can look at the temptations to which we are vulnerable say in our less like in our house in our particular territory there might be certain fences which may be needed because the because there are certain kind of predators that come over there and we need to build those fences and we need to protect those fences if we if we neglect those fences if we need the, let them run down then eventually we will be run down by predators so similarly if we have to look at our particular situation look at what temptations we are vulnerable to and create fences around us so in today's world where people get so distracted by the net then maybe having some digital filters internet filters social media controls that is what we can need, we need to protect ourselves just as we might say that oh even if some predator intruder comes i can drive them away and i can say that similarly we can say that oh if some temptations come i can resist it yes we can but maybe we can't maybe we are inattentive at times so pointing to the need of such external distance the bhagavad gita in 258 states yada samharate chayam कूर्मो अंगा नि सर्वशा इंद्रियाण इंद्रियाथेभ्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता जिस द टॉर्ट इज विड्रॉज इट्स लिम्स इन साइड्स एंड इन अ सेंस इट मेक्स इट्स शेल लाइक इट्स फेन्स सिमिलर कृष्णा से इज दोज आर वाइज देर विजडम इज नॉट जस्ट दैट दे कैन दैट दे कैन रिजिस्ट टेम्पटेशन बट दैट दे डोंट प्ले विथ टेम्पटेशन दे डोंट टेम्प टेम्पटेशन दे लिव फेथफुली एंड पर्पजफुली by which they are not deluded by temptation and so if we keep if we protect our fences the fences will protect us of course this is not the ultimate protection but this is a very valuable inner first protection which keeps our consciousness undistracted so that we can focus it on something purposeful something purif- purifying and ultimately transcend temptation so transcending temptation is the ultimate solution but distancing ourselves from temptation is a good launching pad for undistractedly following the process by which you can transcend temptation thank you hari krishna